We have to talk about something that we were really excited about yesterday and we didn't get to it. And this is my top priority story. All right, this is coming out of Los Angeles. According to Wired, the city is trying out a new way of building roads. And instead of using tar to bind road asphalt together, the city will be using recycled plastic waste. Yes. Uh, no, this is the stuff I need. This process makes the road last twice as long. And if it works, it could find a use for all the world's plastic waste, like 100% of it. Game, game changer. And similar programs are being done in Switzerland and Indonesia, India and Thailand. Mm -hmm. Ross. I know, I just want to repeat what you said in there. The makes the roads, like the cement roads they have now last twice as long. Yes. Right? It's, it's more durable than what we have. It's smarter than what we have. This is what we need. Who, forget about miles per hour. Let's recycle by hour, right? I, I also, they're testing out if like when the cars go, if like it puts particles of plastic in the air, they're doing lots of testing. It's not perfected yet, but it, we are on the road, pun intended, <laughs> to what I need to hear it, you know, th there's good news on a vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, this is good news. I worry about, you know, what we're doing to ourselves on this planet. And when I see something like this, I think innovation, technology, saving ourselves, loving our planet, putting, investing into our future. This is the kind of stuff I need to know about because this is where I see humanity shine at its best. This is not gluttony and selfishness. This is problem solving, innovation, and leadership on a level where we are taking what we naturally do, which isn't natural, and turning it into something good. This is the function we need. Yes, and smart people are doing smart things. We may just be okay, Drew. Uh, vaccine and plastic recycled bottle roads. Okay, let's get right to our next guest. I've been dying to talk to them. Obsessed. Since I saw, I know, a I clip. saw this clip, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Okay, he's wrestling a gator. Uh-huh, for starters. And I mean, how often do you get to say that? I hope I never have to say that in a weird <laughs> way, but let him go, look at him go. And he's joining us now from Estero, Florida. Please welcome Rick Wilbing. Hi, Rick. Good morning, good morning. Is he there? Oh. Oh. Oh, and there is Gunner, your doggy dog. I am yes. so excited to meet you. We'll get into the rescue in a second, but how did you keep the cigar in your mouth the whole time? Yeah, did you watch that the whole time? Uh. Well, you just have to have a cigar, and and then uh, <laughs> if the gator grabs your puppy, you just got to pry his jaws open and snatch the puppy out. Oh my God, so I have little dogs, and when I saw this, I have to tell you, I thought, I don't know if I could have done that. But I, was it just this instinctual thing? Was there fear there, or did you just go for it? Because the, the gator- Oh, I just went ready. for it. It was just reaction. It happened so fast, and then I saw the alligator just swimming off with Gunner in his mouth, and I just jumped right in the water and got my hands on the alligator and got him up on the bank. And you surprised your wife with uh, Gunner, right? You you found him, you saw him, you met him, and you were or you found this puppy, and you were like, I got to bring him home. <laughs> yeah, she was in Texas when I got Gunner, and she oh. got home to a surprise. I have to say, can we try to reenact this, Ross? Because <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, okay. We're, like we're gonna put the dogs in a book. Is the book the Gator? Yeah, the book is the okay. gator with the jaws of life. Of course, you know, Rick, you dealt with the real thing. And then, oh, my, uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, is this how I was sort of was? I from my cigar, I was getting the dog out. And then you jump in the pond, hold the gator's mouth open, right? Yes, sir. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I just have to say, Rick, I think you're like the coolest dude ever. And we're all marveling at you and you're all over social media. This has totally gone viral and rightfully so, because not only do you do what we wonder what would happen in that moment, and we hope we'd be like you, Please. just get it done. But the fact that you didn't break character the whole time. is like another level of cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's just, but you know, you look at this beautiful little puppy and anybody would have jumped in after him. Yeah. Well, Rick, certainly. you are our hero and thank you so much. And we honor you here at this show. Thank you for coming yeah. on. And most importantly, Gunner's okay, right? Thank you for having me. Yes, thank yeah, you, Gunner. great. Gunner's, Gunner's great. Gunner's doing wonderful. Oh, he's just so cute. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Gunner.